A U.S. District Judge grilled the Department of Family and Protective Services for its handling of foster children in the state's care. Fox Wars' Lori Brown followed the six-hour-long hearing, and she joins us with the story. Lori. Clarice, three experts were hired by the state in response to a federal lawsuit. Today, they explained that the state needs to avoid placing children in group homes and stop sending children without family placements out of the state. Texas, in spite of 11 years of litigation, was not prepared uh, for closing these unsafe GROs and thrust all these children in hotels motels and offices. U.S. District Judge Janice Graham Jack made it clear she is not happy with how the state is handling children without family placements. Governor Greg Abbott and two state agencies are the defendants in a federal class action lawsuit representing 10,000 children in long-term foster care. The issue was highlighted by hundreds of cases of children sleeping in CPS offices, hotels, and other unregulated locations. The state hired a panel of experts to examine the problem. Those three experts also said group homes Homes are not a good option. There isn't a single expert in the field of child protection that recommends congregate care, uh, unless, except in exceptional circumstances. Is that right? Yes. The experts outline many problems with placing children in unlicensed facilities. Children in unlicensed care, that they were subject to sex with hotel staff. They were tased by the security officers hired by DFPS to stay at these unlicensed placement areas. The experts found many children with dozens of placements. One is a 14-year-old PMC youth who entered foster care in 2010 has had 42 placements. The judge also urged the DFPS commissioner to stop sending Texas children to out-of-state facilities where multiple violations were found. It's physical restraints that are hurting the children. The children are being hurt by the staff, being put into un uh, inappropriate and harmful physical restraints and it's being and it's documented by the court monitors it does concern me um i it, it sounds like i need to go to michigan myself the judge was also not happy with the handling of investigations into outcries of maltreatment by foster youth and this is an ongoing problem uh do you anticipate ever solving this or do we just hold you in contempt um no ma'am a lot of the problem at that point in time uh, was the massive case backlog. Paul Yetter, the attorney who brought the federal lawsuit, summed it up this way. And solving the placement crisis will help you with your caseworker crisis, right? I would absolutely agree with that. The judge also slammed DFPS for having 75% of the children in its care unvaccinated despite the COVID vaccine being available for those 12 and up for eight months. She scolded the leaders saying that they are the children's parents.